All right, so this is going to be a Costco sale item review of these cream cheese biscuits. Um, these are by Robin Hood Meeting House. Okay, so the cost of these, let's see. So it's normally $9.99, it was $2 off. So instead of about $10, it's $8. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. Okay, here you can see Robin Hood Meeting House. Seven simple ingredients folded with real butter and cream cheese. Okay, 24 biscuits. The weight, 64 ounces. Okay, this box is pretty heavy. Robin Hood cream cheese biscuits. Okay. I don't know how you um, read that. Gogne or something. From the Gogne family to yours. Real food isn't made in a lab or an office. It begins in someone's kitchen. All right, products began this way too. Um, you can go ahead and read that. Um, all right, let's go and look over here. So best if used by October 20, 2022. So it's good for about a year. Okay, same thing on this side of the packaging. Then they give you the cooking instructions here. So if you're going to cook this, conventional oven that's a regular like gas oven or i guess electric oven 350 degrees you want to preheat your oven if you're using a convection oven that's the kind that blows air around um preheat it to 325 and then when you bake the frozen biscuits for 25 to 30 minutes or until lightly golden brown on the outside and flaky all right or flaky in the middle ovens may vary adjust accordingly best if served warm and to reheat it, put it in a 400 degrees oven, preheated oven, for four to five minutes until warm throughout. Okay, and then you got the nutrition facts here. You can go ahead and read that. Uh, manufactured by Gogne Foods, 25 Wing Farm. You can see the address where they have them, right? 24 biscuits, one biscuit um, per serving, 250 calories per biscuit. That's a, quite a bit of calories for one biscuit. But again, this box is pretty heavy. All right, quite a bit of fat. All right, got quite a bit of cholesterol, sodium, um, carbs. All right, some fibers, a little sugar, and proteins. You got a little tiny bit of vitamin D. I don't know how zero micrograms is 2%. Um, you got calcium, 226 milligrams, 15%. Iron, right, potassium. Okay, there you go. Here's the ingredients list. Okay, niacin, reduced iron, thiamine, one of nitrate, riboflavin, folic acid, malted barley flour, whole milk, butter. So if you're lactose intolerant, um, again, this might not be good for you. Water, solids, um, cream cheese, pasteurized milk and cream, cheese culture, salt, carob bean gum, cane sugar, baking powder, Calcium, acid, phosphate, sodium bicarbonate, salt, and sea salt. Contains milk and wheat, obviously. All right. Produced on machinery that was used to process products containing tree nuts, soy, and eggs. So if you're um, allergic to those, then you might want to steer clear of this as well. Made in the USA. And it says, never safe to eat raw dough. Okay. And on the back here, made with real butter, clean, simple, real ingredients. All right. We go no artificial flavors colors corn syrup or gmos we go their story all right go ahead and read that on your own over here strawberry shortcake ingredients all right so they give you uh, recipes to make with the biscuits all right, I'm gonna have to do another review for another product in the middle of this, but anyways, um, let's go ahead and open this up. So it has this pull tab here. So we're just gonna pull this open here, just like that. It opens up like this. Okay, so there's two trays, 12 biscuits each. And here's what the biscuits look like. They're these square shaped biscuits. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna take them down and cook them up. So there, the oven's already preheated, um, but I'm gonna be doing another review of these silicone mats that I also got. So we're gonna be doing that as well. All right, so let me get to that review and I'll see you guys in a bit with these uh, biscuits. I'm gonna be putting them in the oven. 
All right, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so I got the oven preheated to 325. So let me stop that. Okay, so oven's preheated to 325. Um, I guess I'll cook six six of these biscuits. Okay. So we're gonna be testing out this silicone tray as well as um, doing a review of these biscuits. I don't know how far apart to put them. They didn't give any instructions on that. They just said to um, cook them for about 25 to 30 minutes. I'm using a convection oven, so we're gonna cook it for about um, 30 minutes at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, maybe, no, that will make it worse. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna try and space them slightly as evenly as we can. And then we're gonna put them in the oven. So let's go ahead and tilt this up at the oven. Okay. All right, so let's see if I can show this better. Maybe I tilt this more. Okay, oops, let's lower this down some more. Okay, so we're gonna again, it's out already 325 degrees preheated, so we're gonna go ahead 325, and then set the time for about 30 minutes. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. So I'm using two things. So this tray is from Costco as well. It's their Nordic Wear pan set. I don't remember if I reviewed that. I probably should have, it was also on sale at one point. But anyways, let's go ahead and get that tray in there. Okay, close it up and start it. All right, so we're gonna let it cook for 30 minutes and we'll see you guys then. All right, see you then. All right, so the biscuits are just about done. Let's open it up and take a look. So here we go. I'm gonna need an oven mitt. Let's go ahead and pull the tray out. You can see. They're nice and brown. Probably could have done it a little bit shorter time to get a little bit more golden. It's a little bit darker than I'm used to, but let's go ahead and take a look here. Some people prefer it that way. Okay, let's rotate this, get that over there. Okay, so here you can see the biscuits. Let's zoom in a bit. And let's also test this tray here. So look, it didn't stick at all, that's amazing. Okay, so let's go ahead and open one up. Looks like that. Okay, nice and fluffy. And let's take a taste. Hmm. Pretty good. Ooh. I haven't eaten biscuits at um, fast food restaurants or other restaurants in a long time. So it's kind of hard for me to compare to other places. But um, it's it's like a standard biscuit, pretty good. It would go good with gravy, it would go good with butter. They are they do taste different, a little bit different than the um, ones you would eat like at Popeyes or KFC or um, Bojangles and things like that. I think they're a little bit less salty, buttery flavored. But they are good biscuits, so. That's a review. They're pretty good. They're on sale right now. Give them a try at your local Costco. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.